A professional hockey team is in New York raising money for its game day staff members. They've been out of work due to the Corona COVID-19 pandemic. The Utica Comets announced that proceeds from their popular Puck the Virus t-shirts will go to the staffers. So far, the Comets have sold 3,000 t-shirts, raising $75,000. That's enough to cover the lost wages of all the arena staff members. The number nine jersey that Michael Jordan wore during his stint on the Dream Team auctioned off for a whopping $126,000. Jordan wore the jersey during the 1992 Olympics in Barcelona, where the U.S. team cruised to gold. Before the auction ended on Sunday night, there were 54 bids for the jersey. That's also when a highly anticipated Michael Jordan documentary called The Last Dance premiered on ESPN. Jordan himself signed the jersey, writing, best wishes, Michael Jordan. You would think his jersey would be worth something. I know, like, if Mike and Fiona, like, auctioned off maybe, I don't know, a T-shirt or shirt or something fiesta, they'd get lots of money for that, too. Hmm. That's a good I idea. I don't know if my family would pay money. Because <laughs> <I don't... laughs> they'd be the only ones, you know, bidding on that, right? Well, hey there. Yes, Viva Fiesta. We are out here in the KSAT backyard, really getting into the Fiesta spirit. I mean, look at this. <laughs> yes, we are. And we're going to add to it, as we usually do in Fiesta. Hey, you know, one of the great traditions, of course, Coscarone is. And we're going to take a look back when I had a firsthand attempt at making these little gems that come in so handy during Fiesta. <laughs> and if if you have good paper at your house, you can make your own flowers. We're learning how to make giant paper flowers to spruce up your living space. And of course, since we are celebrating a virtual fiesta this week, it has become a tradition for Niosa to hang the rain, rain rock before fiesta. So on today's show, we are going to hang our own rain rocks here. And, uh, Hopefully they're not too heavy for the string that I put up there. So <laughs> We're going to find out what happens. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> and so we want to know what is your favorite Fiesta tradition, you know? Uh, let us know at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter, and we might air some of those answers in the show. What would you say? Um, oh, man, it is tough to pick. I, th I think as far as something little, it has mm -hmm. to be Coscarones. But what I always mm -hmm. get a kick out of is when somebody from out of town comes here and like, what's with all the medals? Yeah. Like, I, don't, I don't get it. It's like... Why not? You know, if that's what we occupy our time with, right. swapping medals, so be it. It's a good time. And have a good time. Don't forget all the parades coming up. We're going to run through all that and all sorts of good things coming up. Catch. When it comes to finding creative ways to stay busy while you're in quarantine, one musician from Milwaukee has come up with a unique way to keep kids entertained. Wes Tank has done a series of mashups of reading Dr. Seuss stories over rap music. Hmm. He has a few videos posted on YouTube. So far, they've all gone viral. The Cat in the Hat. Explain what a mashup is. Red fish, blue fish, one fish, blue fish. Mashup is when you uh, put a bunch of mash stuff up. together, mash it up. Like mashed potatoes? <laughs> kind of, <laughs> more or less. Mash up the weather. Uh, well, let's see. We're looking for 84 degrees today. We're, we're already at 82. Uh, because we're seeing a little more sun than expected, temperatures may be a hair warmer. We could be looking at upper 80s before it's all said and done. 85 tomorrow, 30% chance of some showers and storms. Could see a couple strong storms, mainly north and east of San Antonio. Warm to end the work week and then a little bit cooler by the weekend, guys. Can you wrap one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish? Well, I, yeah. Can you? Yeah, you need to go online on KSAT.com. I'll guess show it to out. you. All right. I, they, they rap all the time. They're just full of rap, full of fun. SA Live. It starts right now. Feeling festive? Celebrate the time of year with a beautiful bouquet of Fiesta flowers. How this local shop is spreading joy to all those working hard to keep us safe. And work up a sweat with a Tabata workout. My wife, Bonnie, teaches me another effective way at home fitness, a great routine to stay away from the quarantine 15. Plus, a fiesta flashback of the beautiful piñata cake Dario Arellano from Romelia's Bakery made for us. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from the KSET 12 studios, this is SA Live. 
Hello and happy Tuesday. And to be more specific, not the studios, but our front yard. Yes. The garden here. Yes. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorsiza. Of course, we want to thank Amols for the beautiful Fiesta decorations on our set out here in our yard. This is gorgeous yes. out here. Yes. Okay. And Fiesta, of course, comes with a lot of traditions. Yep. So we want to know, what is your favorite Fiesta tradition? Is it the chicken on the stick? Is it the gorditas? Is it maybe the hanging of the rain rock? Coscarones, all sorts of riverboat parade, anything specific that is your favorite tradition, take a picture of it, let us know. And hopefully we can uh, show it a little bit later on in the show. Now you mentioned one of the traditions, of course, is hanging the rain rock. And since it's outside, we thought it would be fitting to make and hang our own rain rocks. And hopefully it doesn't rain on us while we're out here, at least today, right? We don't know about tomorrow. We'll see how good this rain rock is. Today would have been the start of Niosa, and that's the tradition is to to hang the rain rock there for Niosa. So out in the garden, Mm -hmm. I just scrounged around, found some rocks around here, Mm -hmm. and we have got some fun little paint, and hopefully all of our supplies don't uh, blow away. Blow away, I know, I was thinking that too. (laughs) We are just gonna give these a little Paint here, and okay. you know something. What? You know, we always talk about uh-huh. fun little activities for uh-huh. family because everybody's looking for something to do here. Why not do this with your family? Hang your own rain rock this week. Have and, the kids paint it up. And you know, the idea of rain rocks, at least what it says here, it started in the 1800s. Cowboys would hang a limestone rock with a hole in it because they thought it would keep away the rain and the cattle stampedes. Because obviously you get a thunderstorm coming up there and with some cattle and that's not a good combination. Right. When they come. I never knew that. I thought it was more of a uh, fiesta tradition. I didn't know it was actually an old uh, Texas cowboy tradition here. So. Well, and it had be- it's become a tradition, of course, for Nyosa to hang the rain rock before Fiesta. And this tradition dates back to the 1970s when a Nyosa volunteer assured the chairman good luck and that the rock would ward off the bad weather. And I we'll think see if this works tomorrow. <laughs> pretty much worked in most years. Mm-hmm. I know there have been a couple of times when it has not, but... My memory, anybody, if I, I stand corrected if, uh, if it has not worked, but Nios has gone uh, fairly well. And I think in years past, the only time I remember when the rain mm-hmm. was an issue and it wasn't for Niosa was, what, about 20 years ago, and it rained so much and they had to cancel the uh, river parade because of some flooding there. So just get some paint, decorate the, uh, the rain rock however you like to do it. So, And I think we have, we've got googly eyes. Sure. We've got glitter, because why not? Of course right? we do. Okay, so I'm gonna get some glitter and on my rain rock. There we go. <gasps> what? I'm just looking at this oh. rain rock with the googly eyes on here. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Oh my gosh, how many eyes is it? Is it? How many eyes do you have on there? So it, so it can see you all the better, my dear. <laughs> you can see wow. that bad weather coming and ward it off. Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think I've got right. plenty on here. I'm going to hang mine. So we've okay. got a couple of strings here. Eye. Let me walk in front of the camera here. Googly eye. I love the sound of Fiesta Metals Googly jingling. Eye. Oh, wait. Let me, what? Uh, i got to grab my... Sorry. What? <laughs> I, I forgot what did to you do the, uh, the pipe cleaners here. Oh, I know. I was wondering where you were going. Okay. Okay. So what Hold I on. did was I just took some pipe cleaners, mm-hmm. and we're going to kind of make a little nest for it, if you will. Holder. There we go. And hopefully okay. this holds. <laughs> We're going to find out. Y'all will find out when we now. do. We haven't practiced this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. Where am I? I'm over here. We okay. love live TV. Yeah, you're right behind there. Okay. Let's go like this. Did you make this easy to untie? Yes, uh, you did. Kind of, sort of, yeah. Yes, you did. Thank goodness. All right, okay. here we go. <laughs> and, Uh-oh. and the really tough part is doing this with gloves on as well. So we have got, hey, let's see if it holds. And I'm just going to tie a quick little knot like this. What are you doing? Are you tying it all the way around? Or are you just going around the, ta-da, the tie that we made? Oh, there you we are. go. Okay. Wait, let me get my string out okay. of the way here. Hold on. All right. Hopefully nobody, hopefully nobody comes out here and runs into it. <laughs> <they're> probably... <laughs> we should probably put no, no, some caution they're, tape they're or something. There we go. There we go. Did yours work? Yes. All right. Look at that. It's Perfect. holding at least for now. We'll see if it lasts the whole show. So we have got, <laughs> we've got two rain rocks. I think yes. we are all set to go here. Okay. 
So again, <laughs> hopefully that works for us this week and going into tomorrow. All right, so while we're all celebrating Fiesta at home, it could be a good idea to add some pops of color to your home. Yes, one local flower shop is spreading joy with surprise bouquets for essential workers, and they have a great tutorial this week for Fiesta. Our Jen Tobias Strusky shares this uplifting story. In these times, we felt like we wanted to participate and do something for the community and simply say thank you, especially to those people on the front lines. The Tuscan Rose Flower Shop may not have weddings or corporate events as clients right now, but owner Jessica Hosman is planting a different kind of seed, spreading positivity. Like four different uh, bouquets, affordable. I think that they're $45 each. And for everyone that you purchase, you're delivering. Is that right? You know, with the profits from those bouquets, we we make a second one and we deliver it to, you know, so so it's, it's a, uh, we're paying it forward, you know, basically. Here's a look at the different distance bouquets meant to bring joy during this challenging time. Virtual hugs, calming, happy thoughts and healing. It just, it's just uh, meant for make people happy. So here's how it works. You purchase one of these distance bouquets and Jessica is donating one to a frontline essential worker. She's asking the public to nominate someone to add to her list so she can keep delivering smiles. Whatever you put out in the world comes back tenfold because we are delivering smiles. She may be spreading joy, but like many other area businesses, everything that once was is on hold, causing quite a challenge. You know, everybody that was April and May and some in June postponed for the end of the year or even for 2021. So it makes it a little challenging because those spots that you had available for a new bride, you know, that will be new business for us, won't be available anymore because you're postponing, you know, things that you already had uh, sold for from previous months. Um, and corporate events completely canceled for the year. How are you staying positive? Well, I think that it's nice that we're able to be in this business because we are delivering smiles. So whenever somebody receives something, the person receiving it gives us so much joy, you know, they're like, is it for me? You know how it is. So it's it's a it's a really nice business to be in because there's just positivity and you know we, we like being part of that. And even though Fiesta may be postponed, that's not stopping most of the city from continuing to celebrate their offering Fiesta Read tutorials and kits to go. All you have to do is purchase your kit and tune in. I think a lot of people are, you know, stuck at home, kids are bored, and, you know, I think that it's still important for us to celebrate Fiesta. And we normally do a lot of Fiesta reads for different clients and whatnot, but I think it's just an opportunity for people to, you know, like do their own reads, you know, have the kids help and have a tutorial that will be easy for them to follow and create something beautiful for their doors and we can still celebrate fiesta. It's and what is it about flowers, would you say, that just make people so happy? Because I, I love them. <laughs> I think it's the beauty of nature, you know, just seeing them from when they arrive and little by little, uh, seeing them opening for you and the, and, the, and the smells, the calming aspect to them. And I mean, psychologically, they do a lot for, for somebody. You know? And Jessica will continue to plant this seed of joy. She hopes others can also pay it forward just by leading through example. For SA Live. Yeah. There's always opportunity to do good. I'm Jen Tobias Strusky. Well, you can contact the Tuscan Rose for more information on those wreath tutorials. Yep, and they're going to go live on their Facebook page tomorrow at 3 p.m. And that video is going to remain on their page for anyone use, looking to use it as a resource. <laughs> Very cool. that story. Still ahead on SA Live, have you thought about those who have had their college plans change through all of this? SAEP is doing what they can to help. And next. Some things never get old. We're throwing it back to when I tried to make Coscaronas last year. Hey, Viva Fiesta!
you know, it's not too bad out here, despite no. the fact that the humidity's up a little bit. So. No. Yeah, so far, so good. Now, do something about tomorrow and the rain. <laughs> We've got a rain rocks on. We do. So We're we should be see. safe. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Knock on wood. <laughs> All right. Well, there's nothing better than surprising someone you love with, oh, I don't know, a fistful of confetti. Viva Fiesta! Oh, darn, the wind's not that right like it was yesterday. <laughs> not hey, like yesterday. Try it Tuesday. We're revisiting when I learned how to make my own cascarones last year. Take a look. I think I've started a new trend here. <laughs> Viva Fiesta. Oh, the fun you can have at Fiesta North Star. <laughs> What is Fiesta without this? Ah, uh, the, the scourge of many, the Coscarone. You'll be finding the confetti in your hair for days and weeks after Fiesta's over. How exactly do you make all these dozens of colorful beauties here? Well, America is just an expert Coscarone maker here at Fiesta North Star. Yes. So how do we get started? Now, all of these have actually come from Mexico, right? Yes, they are imported from Mexico. They are USDA certified. That means the confetti's good. So, mm -hmm. uh, so how would we make a, a Coscarone? Nobody's ever done it before. Okay, so the first step you would want to do is get a webbel. Okay. Tap it really lightly on the top. Which end do you do? Does it matter? Yes. Does it, it doesn't matter what end you would do. Okay. I think yours is good. And then just be very careful emptying the eggshells. Okay, so we don't crack them. So we yeah. Gotta... Okay. And also, cascarone, the translation of it means you're going to eat a lot of eggs. Yes. So, right? <laughs> or okay. a lot of cake. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of omelets, <laughs> a lot of fried egg sandwiches coming up here. So, okay, so you get a whole, and you make these at Easter time, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Easter, fiesta. And then, to make it so it doesn't get all after yeah. a while, uh, you got to bleach them. Yes, so you, with bleach and vinegar. So. Bleach and vinegar. Let them soak overnight so they can get uh, really sanitized. So we end up with a perfectly sanitized egg right yes. here that is ready to to go and then mm -hmm. the dyeing process yes. and this can get kind of messy just like dyeing Easter eggs can get kind of messy at times so you would dip them in some of these various dyes yes. so we would just kind of whoopsie <laughs> hey look didn't break and, and it does take about two three days to get a bright bright color like this one okay yeah, yeah so you know that eh, it's okay but mm -hmm. we'd have to keep going and keep going and yes. keep going mm -hmm. until we end up with a beautiful beautiful Pink. egg Got like this Okay, now comes the fun part, putting confetti in them. And now, is the trick to just put a little in or just as no, much as you, you can? No, you want to fill it up all the way you can. <laughs> so as much as you can in Yes. Here. Okay. You know, the nice thing about uh, eggs and the cascaronis and all of the confetti in there, it's just paper. So it is biodegradable. So yes. yeah, no problem there. Okay. And where's the paper come from? Because it's The only... paper does come from Mexico. We call out to um, a store over there to go ahead and go and dye it with non non-toxic dye. Right. So you can go ahead and, you know, recycle it, recycle paper and go ahead and make small. And, and if you notice how they're all circles, so you wonder where all the little punch outs went to for <laughs> notebook paper and all there that. There we go. Yeah, this is, this is it. <laughs> yes. Okay, now you want to cut a small piece of tissue paper like this small. All right. And then just a little yes. stream of glue around here. Mm -hmm. Around the whole rim. The tissue paper on top. Yes. And we press it down in mm -hmm. all the glue. Yes. You got to make sure it's big enough to cover. Yes. And then push that all down. Yeah. The, and then let it have, dry. Yes. You have your final product right here. Ah, and you've got all the cascarone. About how many of these do you go through every fiesta? I would say the whole tower. Dozens and dozens yeah, and, dozens, and dozens. dozens. Okay. And yeah, and or you can just go, you know. Skip the whole egg thing and just break this bag over yeah. somebody that you really truly love around here. Did you know, because we were looking this up on now, according to one website, that some of this originated actually in China, mm -hmm. was brought over to Spain by Marco Polo, and then eventually and made it here yes. and, and Mexico and made it to San Antonio. Yeah, so that's what we do. <laughs> and Thank what do we say after that? Viva Fiesta! Fiesta. <laughs> That's kind of fun, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You know what? Maybe mm -hmm. you can try one of these at home. Obviously, a little tissue paper. And what I was just thinking of for the confetti, if you make the um, the uh, papel picado, picado, uh -huh. papel uh -huh. picados that we made last, use some of that as leftover. Uh, <gasps> some of the, the confetti in here. Yes. Yeah. Genius. Look at that. Do. 
Another mess to make around the house, kids. Mm -hmm. To vacuum up. <laughs> Still ahead. My wife goes over another great workout option for home. And if you haven't found your ideal fitness routine, try this Tabata workout. And next, this is a difficult time for students about to go to college. SAEP has online resources that can help make this time easier. We share those coming up. everything we can to keep some kind of normal during this coronavirus pandemic, and that includes students. San Antonio Education Partnership is working hard to ensure that students still have access to the resources they need to succeed. Executive Director Lisa Cunningham joins me now to tell us how SAEP is helping to guide students looking to get into college in the middle of all this. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. All right, so let's get right into it. What is SAEP doing to support these students at this time? We are doing everything that we can to support our students. We know that this is a unprecedented, crazy time, and we've shifted all of our um, services to 100% online virtual. So we're doing everything that we did do in person at Cafe College and in our high schools now we're doing online. So anything from college applications, financial aid, verification, career planning, um, essay revision, we're doing it all um, with our students. And since this crisis, we have reached out to thousands of students to make sure that they're all right. And a lot of them just really need um, support at this time. Now, you mentioned support. What can folks do? What can the community do to show their support during this time? Yes, the community can support our work by doing one of two things or both. Um, you can go to saedpartnership.org and donate money. If you were one of the lucky ones that was not impacted by this crisis, um, we need the community's support to continue this work. Uh, we know more than ever, once we um, start to recover and our local economy starts to come back to life, um, that's when college enrollment goes up traditionally in times of economic hardship. So our services are going to be more important than ever, and we need the community's financial support. So saedpartnership.org slash donate, or on May 1st, we have an exciting virtual event our college signing day is going virtual um, with the support of some local partners like SA 2020 um, and Russell Rush. Um, we are going to be celebrating our seniors and having a lot of fun doing that. Um, we're also asking the community to wear their college t-shirts on that day and um, post on social media so that our seniors see how much we support them with two different hashtags, College Signing Day SA and College Isn't Canceled. So if you could do um, one of those two things, we will feel your support and we desperately need it right now. All right, we only have about 10 seconds, but you mentioned that virtual event. How can folks sign up for a virtual advising lesson? Go to cafecollege.org, fill out an advising request form and one of our advisors will get back in touch with you. Lisa, thank you again. Okay, thanks, Fiona. For more information on San Antonio Education Partnership, give them a call at their CAFE College number, 210-207-4528, or visit their website, saedpartnership.org. Still ahead on SA Live, if you have paper at your house, you can make your own flowers. We're learning how to make giant paper flowers to spruce up your living space. And next, Break a sweat with your next at-home workout. Bonnie Osterhage goes over a great Tabata workout anyone can try. Uh, welcome back to SA Live. 
Well, you remember, you know, the saying in college, oh, yeah. the freshman 15. Well, yeah. we're calling this the quarantine 15. I don't right. know about you, but I've been feeling it. Because they're eating more at home. A little <laughs> too close by. Well, my wife is a certified fitness instructor, and she shows us a great way to help avoid that quarantine 15 with a Tabata workout. Let me tell you, it's pretty tough. See if I survived. Well, you want to get a really good workout, but of course the gyms are still closed, but you can still get a good workout here at home. And with us today is my beautiful wife, Bonnie, who is a certified fitness instructor. Good afternoon. So Hi. we have used stairs, chairs, uh, cans of vegetables and laundry, kitty litter, kitty litter things like that <laughs> as far as weights. But if you didn't have any of that stuff and you still want to get a good workout, what do you do now? Well, you've got your body. So you can do a body weight workout. And the best and most efficient way to do that, I think, is Tabata style. So it's a high intensity interval workout. It's HIIT, so H-I-I-T. So what you're doing with that is you're gonna set a timer and you're gonna go hard for 30 to 45 seconds and then you're gonna set a recovery period of 10 to 15 seconds and then you're gonna go again. So the point here is you're driving your heart rate up fast, you're getting that fat burning zone and the beauty of it is you're gonna to continue to burn fat throughout the rest of the day. First, let's talk about how to do this. So you can use your stopwatch, your sports watch if you have it, but what I like is this app that I keep on my phone, it's called the Tabata Pro. And so you can actually set your cycles, how many cycles of Tabata you wanna do, and you can set your intervals. So for example, I've got a 45 seconds of work with a 15 second recovery. Okay. So for 45 seconds, you're gonna do jump squats. And you're gonna feel your heart rate go up, you're gonna feel your legs and your booty start to burn. Are you ready? Uh, no. Okay. All right, let's go. Three, two, and one. 45 on, come on, keep your chest up. Keep your, oh, don't hit your head, keep your oh. chest up. <laughs> Make sure you don't work out underneath it. <laughs> Come on, come I think on. she did this on purpose. You've so. got 30 more seconds. Let's Seriously? Get. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously, come on. Yeah, I don't know if we can do this. We have to keep this sitting. So you're short, oh, I'm okay. short. All right, all right. <laughs> Just for but example. But you get the point. You get the point. So you set it for different intervals. A minimum of, I like to do 30, 10. Okay. Um, 45, 15 is fine too. Just depends on you. You can start working at 20, 10 if you want to. You'll take that 10 to 15 second cool off period, whatever you've decided on, and then you'll go into your next exercise. Which would be another good one. What would that be? Uh, Push-ups. Push Push-ups are a great full body okay. exercise. So you come down on the ground. Yep, there you go. Lower your chest and you go over and over. Come on. With a Tabata style workout, you know you've only got to do this for 30 seconds or for 45 seconds. Get in that mindset of, you know, you can do anything for 30 seconds. Okay, so what's the next good exercise? Crunches. So come down on your back. You're going to do a basic crunch. So you put your hands behind your head, don't pull on your neck, keep those elbows nice and wide, and you're going to lift up, mm -hmm. look up at the ceiling, don't look at me, there you go, <laughs> there you go, that's it, lift Just like lower, that. use your abs, don't use your neck, Okay. Squeeze. there you go, yep. And do this what, every other day, like yeah. four times a week? Yeah, whatever feels good to you. The most important thing right now, I mean, even if you're somebody who works out three to four times a week, things are a little different right now. And I know you know you've seen me at home. It's been a little hard for me to get motivated too, which is really weird for me. Um, so just make yourself get up, do it for a short period of time, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and you'll find that if you start into it for 15 or 20 minutes, you're probably gonna keep going. Okay. okay, so just make yourself get up, commit to 10, 15 minutes, and then you're probably gonna continue on. Well, as Bonnie was saying, you can find all the information on Joyride's website, which you can find the link on our website, and you have one, which is? Uh, BeFitSA.com, and it's B-FitSA.com. Okay, yeah. again, go to SALive.com for all that information. Okay, it was only yeah. a couple of minutes doing that thing, yeah. but it lives up to the high intensity interval training. So, right. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That looked that looked tough. I'm exhausted it, it, just watching it. And again, I only did 5 minutes worth. <laughs> All okay. right, well, if you want to continue your fitness journey with Bonnie, all you have to do is head to her website, b-fitsa.com. And to find that website, just head to ours where we've provided a link. All right, still ahead. Have you ever tried a pinata cake? It could be the perfect thing to take your at-home fiesta to the next level, and your little ones and the big ones are going to love it. And next, they say April showers bring May flowers, but how about making your own flowers? Learn a crafty way to turn construction paper into a flower that actually lasts. Oh, 
Oh, look at our beautiful decorations. Hey, if you really love flowers, but you also want them to really last, mm -hmm. we have got the solution for you. Yes, flowers made out of construction paper. So if you've got good paper in your house, then you won't even have to go to the store to make these decorations. One of our produ producers, Nicole Maddox, tried to make one giant paper flower. Nicole Maddox, producer for SA Live. I know it's springtime and it's fiesta time. Viva fiesta! We are celebrating no matter what, no matter when it was postponed to, we are celebrating. So I decided to take on how to build a flower out of construction paper. I am the least crafty person alive and I'm really interested to see how this goes. So what you're gonna need is some construction paper of varying colors, whichever you want to do. I got these templates offline and some hot glue. as any crafter could be. And anyone at home who is a million times more creative than I am, you're probably laughing at me, but please let me know how you do it better. Thank you guys so much for watching and Viva Fiesta. That's great looking, Nicole. All <laughs> right. And of course, she was looking at uh, these websites. We love V from uh, Forever Petals by V. She has decorated our studio downtown there at Market Square. And if you're wanting to try your hand at paper flowers for Fiesta or just uh, for spring, she's constantly posting different tutorials for different flowers on her Facebook page, Forever Petals by V. Yes, and she also has templates on there that you can use for those petals, which is kind of what Nicole was following. There. Yeah, and when yeah. she's been on the show before, oh, yeah. it, it's really, really easy to do when you follow her instructions. Yeah, her flowers are on our set, yes. yes. All right, next, 
We all know Dario Arellano from Romelia's Bakery. He's been on a few times before, and we are revisiting when he made us an actual piñata cake. It's a sweet treat you might want at Fiesta from your home. Welcome back to our front yard on this beautiful Tuesday. Well, if you watch uh, SA Live at all, you know he's a regular guest on here. The guy is a an artist, a mu magician, everything else when it comes oh, yeah. to what he can do with the cake. Of course, we are talking about Dario Ariana from Romelli's Bakery. It wouldn't be Fiesta without him. No, and we are giving you a fabulous Fiesta flashback to the time he made a beautiful piñata cake for us last year. Check it out. Oh yeah. my Look goodness gracious. Have yeah. you ever seen a piñata that is edible? That's what this is that's what's happening here cuz inside there's lots of goodies, right Dario? Yeah, there's Dario a big Ariana surprise. from Romelia's Bakery and literally this man if you can dream it up, he can make it out of <laughs> cake and icing. And fondant and yes, all the love. Yes, we got too. everything for the price. <laughs> so today I'm going to show you how to make a mini version of a piñata cake okay. right. into a cupcake. So we took some of the um, butter inside. Do you want to go okay. for it? And then so I just, have one for you. To look. Just going to hollow it out a little bit, Yeah, right? so you're going to go generally with the sprinkles. Okay. It's a good option for fiesta, for surprise, These for gender reveals. For beautiful anything. sprinkles. I like what the, you said. Two gender reveals. Yes, are big. for gender reveals for anything. We, oh, he <laughs> likes to be generous. Okay. So go ahead and do yours, and then we're gonna pipe some ice cream on, some uh, buttercream on top, okay. and then these are good. Like, did I say <laughs> that we're doing a giveaway piñata cake? We are doing a giveaway piñata cake. All you gotta do is just follow my page. It's Daddy Arellano on Instagram. Okay. Make sure to like the photo that I'm gonna be posting and you will be able to win a piñata cake for this Friday. And then also for the SA Live viewers, you've got a little bit of a deal on top of yes, that, right? Yes, we have for our SA Live viewers, we have 10% off. All you gotta do is just mention that you saw us on SA Live and you get 10% oh. off on your total. So How do we do, Dario? Okay, very simple way to do a piñata cupcake like this, which is great for birthday parties. Everybody for loves anything. a piñata. Like right now, we can do anything. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we have to definitely cut that piñata cake. So we made these earlier. Do you need us to add these to anything? Yes, you can just put it on the cake, make it more colorful. You know, it's fiesta. So I'm when scared I'm, to mess it up. Where? Know, it's fine. Oh, okay. We're on fiesta there, <laughs> and then we have more. Let's be generous. Okay. And then let's get this ready for our slice. All right. So, so this now. is what's in here. Yes. So let's cut it. Okay, we're ready. There you go. I, I just hate to do this, so I'm just going to cut a piece out here and it's going to come down here, right? Okay. Yes. Just the top piece. Oh, you oh, got this. this is one. just criminal to it. do this. You got it. You got it. All you right. Got it. And then the next one. Hold that for me, will you, yes, Jen? I will. And then take the piece out and, whoops. I got your plate. There you go. Look. Oh, oh, we have, go. oh my goodness. Look that's at everything so that's in there. Beautiful. All we have in there. And did you notice that we have our SA Live medal on top of the cake? <laughs> it's the SA Live 2019 medal. It's 100% edible. So, Mike, you can take it home and. Oh! You, know, you can eat the medal. You can just bite into it. It's an edible got a, medal. No, again, it's too, your cakes are too pretty to eat. That's, the, that. that's the problem. So, Thank you so, so much. So, you do all kinds of cakes. If yes, somebody we, wants to place an order, tell us about Romelia's. Yes, well, we make everything from scratch. If you place an order, something crazy, something, just let me know and I will make sure to start working working on it. And what did you say earlier? Because we're like, wow, Dario, this is beautiful, but you go hard, right? Oh, go, go hard or go home. <laughs> I love it. It's gum. It's, it's a gum. gum. It's your, oh. <laughs> you see, it's a surprise. That's the, the point of The candy and cake. the cake. Okay, that was just right. the coolest thing. Of course, that was from last year when he was doing that, that giveaway of that uh, piñata cake. However, Romelius is doing curbside pickup at their new location at 10222 Hebner Road, Suite 107. So get your own piñata cake, you order it, and for your own fiesta at home party. Or if you're celebrating a birthday in your household, you're looking at it, he can create the most amazing designs. This is Sloane's birthday cake from when she turned one. And I asked for a whimsical design in certain colors and with a balloon coming out of it. And he made it happen. And by the way, Dario, if you're watching, I will totally return the wonderful cake stand you lent to me when this is all over. I promise. I promise. All right. Well, they're asking you to order a day ahead by calling 210-437-1073. Hey, tomorrow on SA Live, it's a different kind of fiesta, so you need some one-of-a-kind activities. Have a party at home with these creative crafts and games. 
And we're bringing the carnival home. Find out how easy it is to make one of these signature treats you can find at any festival. That's all tomorrow at 1 on SA Live. Don't forget Friday is SA Live's special Battle of Flowers pre-show at 1 p.m. and then the parade starts at 2 p.m. So make sure to come celebrate with us. And we're not done there because Saturday the Flambeau Parade starts at 7 p.m. and Sunday the band festival begins at noon. So don't miss a single second. KSAT is broadcasting it all so you can fiesta at home. And speaking of fiesta, tonight would have been Niosa when right. they would have... Rain rocks yes. out as part of the tradition. So so we made some rain rocks here earlier, and if you have made any rain rocks at home, we would love for you to share it with us on social media at SA Live KSAT. You can also kind of vote whose rain rock was better than the other, Fiona's.